Well, it's certainly scary enough when hackers gain access to social security numbers, but as technology like facial scans becomes more common, our biometric data is also at risk. State lawmaker now pushing for protections against that. CBS4 political specialist Sean Boyd joins us from the Capitol tonight. And Sean, most people don't worry about someone hacking a facial scan. Hey, Karen, but just as our fingerprints are unique physical identifiers, so too are our faces, our eyes, and our voices. And increasingly, this so-called biometric data is being used to confirm identities. Instead of typing in a password to open your phone, you can now just scan your face. But convenience may come at a cost. There are no privacy laws around biometric data in Colorado. That could soon change. Please enter your eyes in the mirror. These days, we think nothing of an iris scan to skip airport security lines, facial recognition to unlock our smartphones. Just tell me what you'd like to do. Can I go to their website? And okay. voice Alexa. commands to shop, turn on appliances, even access bank accounts. But ever thought about what else your biometric data is being used for? Most people have heard someone saying, I was just talking about something and now it's popped up on my feed. That is biometric data. While it can be a useful tool to direct us in the direction of things that we may want or need, uh, it's a dangerous tool if it's in the wrong hands. And at the end of the day, it is the most personal things about us, our face, our voice. And Representative Alex Valdez says once your data is out there, there's no getting it back. When we sign user agreements, we often unwittingly sign away the right to what happens to our data. He plans to change that. Folks need to have the right to revoke consent to use and sell that information and that courts should be involved when we're, we're using this data for uh, law enforcement or government purposes. Valdez has introduced a bill that would require companies that collect biometric data to delete it at the owner's request and bar government agencies from collecting it without a court order. It's time privacy laws, he says, caught up with technology that now even allows you to pay for things with a palm print. If we don't get it now while it's kind of in its infancy and decide, hey, these are some things people deserve when, they're, um, when their data is being used, when are we going to do it? We're going to have to come back when it's already a problem. A representative Valdez admits getting the bill passed won't be easy. There are already industry groups lining up against it. Three other states have passed laws around biometric data collection and use. There is no federal law. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. Sean, thanks.